How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is a first look at Eastward, a game that's due out later in 2020. I don't think it has a more specific date than that yet. It is being published by Chucklefish, so that's one reason to pay attention to the game, but it also has this absolutely gorgeous combination of pixel art and like 90s Japanese animation. It looks very unique and it was kind of hard to pass up uh, playing this game. They offered this 48 hour demo, which is what I'm playing here now. Unfortunately, by the time I will have published this video, it's probably expired and will be no longer available, but I couldn't pass up that opportunity. I've been looking forward to this game for a pretty long time. <laughs> Look at that little baby just howling on her shoulder there. Ooh, there's also a big robot. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about this game. I just think that the aesthetics are so unique and so incredible. A Tetsuo. I dreamed of becoming an adventurer once, but I guess these feet were made for dancing instead. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to show us off some, some some moves or something. He's just kind of sticking to himself there. It's not, not nearly as exciting as truly dancing. We're in Johnny's place, whose head is made of light bulbs, and he has one robot hand. A cyborg, a cyborg who chose to turn himself into a light fixture. Kind of a glitchy one at that. Oh, he had to plug himself back in. You saw that, huh? Uh, another short circuit. So, you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little short with you, too. I wonder how translations like that work across multiple languages. English is not the only language this game is being developed in. I've heard Pirate Software, who's making Heartbound, talk about how difficult it is to translate jokes where short, something like short doesn't make sense in like Japanese and English just curious ammo pack bomb pack uh, I don't think I want any of this oh, but I do have quite a bit of money all right I'll buy one of each just just cuz I'm sure it'll come in handy eventually this guy over here is dancing more than the actual robot is according to her this is the season of love but well it's much too early for that Look at that, he's shaking it all out. Guy's anxious. He's eager, eager to share his heart with someone, I, I guess. Oh, wow. It's you guys. Who's Bud? <laughs> what do you want to know this time? I know everything in this town. I didn't even know if there was anything indicating you could interact with the trash can. That was just some like game logic stuff. Every dirty little secret. See that little Jizo statue in the red bib? No, I'll keep an eye out though. Give it a poke, something good'll happen. All right, red bib, we'll keep an eye out for that. That robot down there looks like a, a Pokeball <laughs> or something. There's a familiarity to it. I feel like I've, I've seen something very similar in another, uh, like an old animation or movie or something before, perhaps. The colors are kind of washed out. I don't know if washed out is the right term, but like, they kind of run together in an interesting way that makes it feel like more than just pixel art. It kind of has like a painted feel. Yeah, when he said Jizo, I was picturing, I was picturing one of those uh, cats with like the waving arm or whatever's going on there. I don't know if that's actually what that is. No more freebies, you hear? You break it again and it'll cost you. What we break the last time? Did you see the hair on that guy? Maybe he wasn't talking about us. I don't know, you have hair down to your ankles, and I look like I've never seen a razor before, so I don't know if we can go commenting on people's hairdos. Hey, little kitty. Ah, uh, can't. Can't interact with it. Back room, though? Ooh. <laughs> this is quite the lab. Look at the cyborg head up on, like, that top shelf there. That looks like something that you would clamp down on top of someone's head to transfer their brain to a, another body. Maybe a robot body. Patience is a virtue. It's Madam Tayama. Definitely has a bushy mustache. Oh, maybe it's not a mustache. Maybe it's just wrinkly lips. My children. Was it a yawn or laughing? Ha ha ha. Time is on your side. Me, I'm far too old. My time is already up. Nice. Right on the money. Is this kid in the green, like, actually playing something? Yo! Ah, it's Sam! Yowza! <laughs> this thing kicks ass! 
Hey, Sam's here. Oh, everyone's that excited to see me? I'm very flattered. Oh, hey, Sam. Did you see that, huh? A perfect strike. He looks like he's rapping. He's doing a hip-hop set or something. You want to play with us, Sam? I think you should be able to. I'm on a mission. A mission? Wait, don't tell me. It's for the Rocket Knight Legion, isn't it? Oh man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Riding in on their fire-breathing horses at supersonic speed. Is that legit? Do I get to do that? Because I want to do that, like, really badly. Gleaming blades cleansing the world of evil and unrighteousness. The Honorable Rocket Knights. The Courageous Rocket Knights. Go, go, Rocket Knights! Farewell, milady, and give them hell. But when you're done, come back and play, okay? Aww. They're such big fans. I was worried that we would be like an outsider or something. I feel like that's much more common in games rather than to be like the young character that everyone is looking up to. Detective rule number one. First hand investigation is crucial to success. What are you, what's she investigating? Want any more, no more details? Maybe that's his one and only rule. Maybe his second rule is that there are no rules. Oh. Is, that, is this the red bib statue? It might be. Seems like something's happening. Ooh. That spotlight kind of missed us. <laughs> you feel something strange, but warm. Oh, max health increased. Okay, I like the, the health bar went like dip, 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 dip. <laughs> there wasn't even a sound effect associated or whatever, but it, it looked like it was just restoring my health. Didn't expect to gain a health. I imagine if I pray again, I can't. Can't even pray at all. Dang. Well, I haven't remotely needed health yet, but now I know I have it. What a pretty little girl. Me? Your baby? I assume you're not complimenting your own baby. I kind of want to explore this, like, southern part of town a little bit. If I can figure out how to get over there. Oh! Oh, I was trying to walk around the building. Didn't realize there was a path straight through there. Okay, cool. This is a very, like, layered, three-dimensional feeling town. Oh, look at that cute yawning cat up there. Oh, nice. Yeah, I wanted to go see what these guys were up to. Don't be so hard on him, boss. Cletus didn't know this was going to happen. Yeah, Cletus is probably a hick. Like, uh, the hickest man alive. He probably doesn't know a lot of what's going on. I, I had no idea there would be monsters there. The Bean Boy. Boss P. Quiet! And that means you can just abandon the equipment and run away with your tail between your legs. Listen up, you ingrates. Brotherhood construction is unstoppable. Ain't no one can stop us. It's usually what unstoppable means. Hmm... I have a sneaking suspicion this will be a fight, and I'm kind of curious to see what the fighting mechanics are like in this game. I did just buy a bunch of bullets and bombs? Bean! Oh. John! What perfect timing! We got attacked in the sawmill. Lost our equipment to some damn monsters. Oh, maybe people don't fight people in this game. We're always fighting monsters. Monsters. Sawmill? You hear that, John? Sounds like our time to shine. Is John not your father or something? Maybe you're like the same age and Sam just happens to be short or something? I, I may have misread the dynamic here. Don't worry. We've got this. Let's go, John. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go check it out now. Let's go see how this sort of stuff works. Uh, I, I, have, no, I have no concept of if it's turn-based or like action or what's going on. Hurry, John, the monsters are getting away. Is it just this guy in a coonskin cap? Bowman? The dirty before requires... It's hard to talk with your mouth moving that much. Requires not only strength, but wisdom. Uh, let's fight him. It's clearly a monster. Look at that bushy head. Remember this. <laughs> Dramatic pause, mid-sentence, mid-word almost. That was my bad. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Alright, do you have, like, real advice for the game, or are you just going to quote, like, famous platitudes? Remember this. The, 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 yep, you've already, you've already been on it. 
maybe that is maybe that is helpful for the how the combat works in this game i don't know the hunter's hut oh nice we can mix ourselves up a little a little something to eat a beautiful red good looking tasty carrot i usually prefer orange this is a strange mix-up going on here expensive but tastes not too good yeah lettuce is worthless isn't it i'm gonna add one lettuce and one carrot and maybe oh unknown recipe okay so Warren, it, it it told me that like the first one there's nothing you don't have what it takes to make whatever that first thing is <laughs> uh it just kind of throws in a bunch of random crap it doesn't actually like use the sprites of what you added maybe it did it added a ton of carrots right at the end there it's a very long cooking animation stir fried vegetables get to heal full hearts the meal made with limited ingredients Cool. I think that's all we need. I, I don't see anything else worth doing in this hut. I'm kind of try to interact anyways. Nah. Cooking up a quick meal. Showing like a, a chef's demo there is all we need. This bicycle grew into that tree. That's kind of neat. It's like when someone parks their bike on like a sapling and forgets about it. And the tree grows around it. Oh, this looked like there was like a secret up there or something. That I, that the fact that I was able to walk around behind that. Nothing important. Down this way instead. The odd forest. Hold to perform a power strike. Oh, I I have a pot. <laughs> I just use the I get to use this dinghy on the post as like uh, a a practice strike for myself. Oh yeah, it's like oh crap, that was a bomb. Oh crap. Uh, hopefully the explosion radius is small enough that I can get away from there. That was a mistake. Weapon, a ping pong gun, pong pong, pong pong gun, powerful, but the shooting range is limited. Uh, I do think I should probably try to equip that and see what happens. Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to see if I hit, wow, actually the detail of animation is really cool. There's a lot of extra stripes in the weapon, so as I'm rotating around, it almost has like a 3D feel to it. That's really well done. The range is limited enough that I can't shoot across the other dinghy. I thought maybe that would call the fairy across or something this seemed like a type of game that would like absolutely have turn-based combat it's looking a lot like it's <laughs> it's looking a lot like it's gonna be uh like live action filled combat and that's cool too oh there oh okay i had to be facing the diggy monsters i'm coming for you oh you didn't actually see anything you're just getting all amped up on the, the possibility of it all right, well, you go do that. I'm just going to explore a little bit and see if there's any cool, useful things for us. I see no need to rush. I'm certain you can take care of yourself if I if I let you go and do your own thing. Oh, she she really took off. A back, a back, you. Oh my God, the level of detail in the animation, the artwork is just incredible. Down to heart container. Does that mean increase max health? Oh. That's that just be must be for the sake of the demo that it's that easy to find because like that was oh, Okay, maybe I have to take this guy out twice. Yeah, now he's actually done now. He's actually done for But it, it seems like the real game probably wouldn't have a heart container be that easy to find it Seems like a likely a demo thing, but I'm okay with it. I'll take the bonuses Oh, those little gold nuggets are, are, my, are my money it's a little bit of a pain having to wait for it to come back a second time. Oh, no, 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 they infinitely come back. They are not fully dead. What is this? Duck flower? Oh, God, they're bobs. Like a duck flower that shoots other duck heads? I have no idea what to, is going on with that particular enemy type. It's weird as hell, but I kind of loved it. But then it was very dangerous in the end. So it's a little bit, little bit worrisome. Oh, do I have to power bash to make this work? Ah, okay. I gotta do a little bit of puzzle sliding around. Perfect. Such a low speed. Oh, I wonder if I could have stepped off there to see something. John! Oh, did I totally leave Sam behind? My bad. You stuck behind those gigantic garlics up in the trees there? It's my turn now. Oh, we get to switch. Oh, okay. That is another side of this I was not anticipating. I, get, I just get to switch between them. Alright, so she has like a punch. Oh, she has like magic. 
That's pretty cool. Look at the little icon representing where John is. It's like telling me where he is on the map there, but he's got like the most ridiculous open belt of all time. Can you kill these things? Okay. Well, I'm going on a slightly different path then. Oh, you don't have to charge it up. You can just, you can just Im immediately do it. But she does have like stamina that you have to worry about for like these the spell casting and stuff. Oh, but she can't break through uh, like wooden planks and things. So maybe she'll be more likely to break through natural things, and he can he can uh, bust up like you know things like planks of wood. Oh dang! I like cannot. Uh, okay, I have to get her across because she has to melt these garlics, and then I have to boost us across. But these are like. Oh, do they require a bomb? No, because I like went and bought those bombs. I If I didn't buy bombs, I don't know if I would be able to do that. And that seems like a strange, like, incomplete mechanic or something. I have to be reasonably quick because those, those do grow back. I'll just let the current sail us on away. Oh, okay, I was curious if this would be a thing. So there they've separated. Here you can group them back up. That's good. Because if you had to independently control them for the rest of the game to get them anywhere or do anything with them, that would end up being a huge pain. Was that a school bus acting as a bridge? That was kind of neat, actually. I I better switch on back and keep using your your sick pan abilities here, John. No one no one does it quite like you, you know. One in a million, just such a skilled artist with that pan. <laughs> Oh, I probably had to like time the next the next crack at that as I was as I was drifting past it. So that's a shame. I missed I missed that and now I don't know if I can undo it. Oh, that looks breakable. But maybe maybe that's uh needs magic or or could this Oh, well obviously it's a bomb now that I truly think about it. I don't know why I insisted on trying absolutely every other thing before trying that. Ah, uh, this thing looks like it generates bombs. So yeah, that that should have made it even more obvious. I'll just I'll just keep acquiring bombs. I'm already filled up. Filled up. I just thought I would just take an infinite supply. Bum, 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 bum. The, the noise it makes when hitting those is very satisfying. Oh god, okay, some of them have enemies in them and this started, started like flying at me. Oh, that might have that thing might have crawled out of one and into another one, hopping around between them like some sort of hermit crab creature. Oh, nice. Oh, that makes sense, of course. But now I have no idea how to make this thing go back. I don't have any. I don't have anything to hit against. Oh, I didn't realize how far she like fired her her projectile. I thought it was like pretty well just immediately in front of her. The more you hold up, the further it goes. But even her her standard one is pretty pretty good range. I think I super misunderstood what was going on with that door. I thought that door was going to an entirely new area. It's totally just to allow me to re-access this point. Yeah, not not the smartest thinking, but now this makes more sense. That I don't I'm the intent isn't to like time some sort of big swing to make that happen. It's that these these two little docks had to become stacked up like this so that I could uh just bring bring them together and and just be more correctly positioned. Oh crap. <laughs> that first one missed. I guess I shouldn't have done such a dramatic charge up for it and should have focused a little bit more on just uh actually hitting the target ah okay I thought that I thought maybe if I hit it on my way over to it it would provide some sort of opportunity but hey you just bounce off of that thing perfect didn't realize at first that it had that function I want to go to the waterfall waterfall looks really fun <laughs> oh, oh a new monster oh you just kind of trapped them her her move seems a lot less offensive based. Seems like I gotta bank on John potentially a little bit more for the actual strikings. Her her skills seem to just like put things in a little bubble. Yeah, okay. You guys both have your own little role there. Oh nice, the charged up that was a good little combo though. You can stun them with her magic and then 
uh, dive in with the charged up blast. Bam! That one I didn't even I didn't even do it right at all. But the charged up pan swing is still a fun is a fun go to move. Feels very satisfying to bash things up like that. Oh, I should be breaking. Should be breaking more things in search of little nuggets and and anything really. I just want things. Oh, cool. We got to come back to the area that has the little bus bridge. Little, big. Either way, it's neat. I just started swinging at that instinctively. I want to try and bat baseball this thing back at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make you defeat yourself. You played yourself, you weird duck flower. Perfect. It's very satisfying to do, actually. What the hell? Very unique monster designs here, because I, I don't know what anything ever is, or what it's meant to look like, or anything like that. Ah, oh, come on. But I can stun you. That's probably my best bet. Ah, oh, too many things respawn. I don't... I, any Anything that's like a flower comes back. I guess that holds true of, like, the garlic bulb things as well. They come back. And that's just... Oh, I got him on the boomerang there. It's just how it goes, I guess. But any of the monster type things that you take down, it's only only one one time that you need to worry about that. I was kind of hoping you would walk through the interior of the bus. I think that would look neat or be neat, but it's not that not that important. Hmm. There looked like there was like rubble covering a little uh, hole there or something. Turns out it was nothing. But I like to investigate those sorts of things. Trying to trying to discover some sort of like little extra secret that's tucked away somewhere within this demo, you know, something that maybe others didn't didn't find. Maybe that's being a little too confident in my own abilities there. Oh, he's gonna! You can see he kind of opens up when he gets ready to dump spores like that. Holy crap! I didn't realize how much uh, damage I had taken. I gotta be slightly more cautious, I think. Try to take that guy out before he summons too many more. Oh, hearts got dropped all over the place. Uh, and gold. You have a limited ch opportunity to pick things up. You can, you can totally, uh, totally miss it. Man, I'm not very good at aiming that yet, am I? Oh, I thought you could. I thought you could bubble, bubble someone even when they were one of these things, even when it was tucked away like that. It's very difficult <laughs> to, to try and time correctly. They're very good at defending themselves. Oh, new heart container. Good, because I was actually starting to, like, become a little bit at risk here. We'll just keep on doing our little raft propulsion technique here. Seems like a really fun, efficient way to get around. Free transit. Not sure why it hasn't caught on a little bit more in the real world, you know? Oh, it doesn't let me. It doesn't let me get off there. I thought that would be a cool little detour to like see what was going on. I don't know how I would continue on down this path after the fact. I didn't realize that I was like probably never going to go back to the town. I probably there probably was more to explore in town briefly. I guess we're skipping <laughs> skipping over that. A refrigerator full of want to save your game? I, I could do that for you, but you know I'm still warming up. This is a fridge is nothing right now in the demo. But for some reason fridges normally are a thing. Hmm, I haven't been like finding veggies or anything. Oh, this dilapidated house, you can still operate the door. That's kind of funny. It's funny that the bed isn't a save point or anything. This weird robotic TV fridge is instead. Yeah, I, I, I haven't, either I haven't been looking in the right places or it's not a thing, but I'm like not finding uh, vegetables and things along the way that I can use to craft myself some some nice meals. I wanted to say dinners, but I chose to not advertise for cheesy macaroni. Oh, but it's only called craft dinner in in Canada. It's called something else in the states. But like boxed mac and cheese. Danger. Why'd they put my middle name on the wall like that? Wonder, wonder what purpose that they would have for doing that, you know? I'm gonna bomb it. it looks like a big pile of rocks. Doesn't really... I didn't have a lot of confidence in that one. <laughs> I didn't truly believe that there would be anything there. Aha! This must be the place. They, they mentioned. <laughs> if there's a setting to make text scroll faster, I better turn it on. Because I keep stuttering on my words like that. Look! Is that... 
Monster! Oh, damn. Okay, that thing is pretty intense, actually. I thought it was going to be, like, just a regular person who was covered in mud or something. Yeah, just back the hell out of there. Oh, I didn't seem like we were going to leave entirely. We were just like, nah. Nah, I don't plan to fight this thing. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Okay, it has an insane amount of skills, and it's really busting them all out on me here. All right, I'm going to try and use my gun. Nope. Got pretty messed up trying to do that. Getting close quarters for the gun is very tricky. Oh, he bombed himself. Do do more of that, dude. I really wish I hadn't used my, my like, vegetable stir-fry when I did. It would have been really nice to have that. All right, this is going okay. If I stay close to him, he... Oh, no, there he goes. He's using his gun now. I was thinking that if I hug close, it seemed like he doesn't use his his gun thing very much. Uh, there was no indication of how much damage he had taken so far, so I was getting a little concerned. Oh, I'm going to lose my heart. No. Ah, oh, it's gone. Missed the opportunity. That was so close. You were just cheering in the rafters? Couldn't you have chucked a few stun bubbles in there to help me out? Okay, it seems safe. I think we should get back now. Wait. Where does that tunnel lead? Ah, it smells like adventure. Let's go, John. The, the, the extra long sleeves that are like baggy and on, on her wrist there. Thank you for playing single player dual character adventure RPG with puzzle solving and dungeon elements. Meet a quirky cast of characters, encounter strange monsters in distant cities. Beautiful detailed pixel art created using a combination of modern 3D lighting and retro pixel style artwork. Follow John and Sam in their emotional journey across a world falling to ruin. Available in 2020. I'll have a link down below so you guys can wishlist it, things like that. The artwork and everything is really incredible. The combat's pretty fun. Uh, the ridiculous long list of combination of different el elements and things that go into the game is very intriguing. I'm, I'm hopeful for seeing more of what it has to offer. I'm going to continue to keep a nice close eye on this one for sure. Because, like, oh, just gorgeous. Like, one of the most incredible looking games. Uh, I'm going to come back to town and just talk to people who I missed previously. Master Yogi. The mystery that stands before you is but a small part of this world. And I assume I can't... Oh no, there's like a whole other district over here that I didn't make it to? Kowloon? There's like a bunch of stuff over here. Okay, good thing I came back for it. This guy looks like he has a TV for a head, but also a bird for a hat. I don't know what's going on here with Razor. You stay away, you hear? Don't want to scare this little fella off. Oh, he wasn't being tough, he's being a sweetheart. Da Gamma. Da Gamma, the number one Gamma. Hey, watch your step. These spices ain't cheap. Oh, I can buy some steam pepper. The steam will be sprayed when the pepper shell break. Oh, interesting. It's like a, a little capsule of pepper that when you heat up, it just like blasts flavor. Oh, I didn't mean to buy it. Whatever, that's fine. It doesn't, doesn't matter at all. A oh, Bori, come and take a look. The freshest fish tail in the house. Don't you want a piece? Most common food you can find at Dam Hill. Yeah, sure, hook me up though. It looks like my ingredients menu uh, exists separately from, from other ones here. I have my pouch, my ingredients, uh, and the collection, which I'm guessing will get built onto as you like clear dungeons and things. It'll operate similar to that in some way. A map, which I did not utilize at all at any point previously. Locate player. This is me? Why is it holding a flag and why does it not look like either of the two characters? That's these are my number one questions and we have like a, a quest log. All right, that was all, all stuff that I missed previously. Yakawa Masao, welcome. The best fish head in town, you can't miss it. Oh, you guys are running quite the racket here. That does not look like a, a head, if you ask me. Seems like you guys are just like, it would make more sense if you guys were selling two different parts of the fish. Then you could capture separate parts of the market. You're just doubling up and lying about what part of the fish it is? Unless this world full of monsters has double tail fish, that might be a thing. They don't actually have mouths or eyes or faces. Fresh fruit. We pick them, you buy them. I, I think your definition of fruit is loose, but that's fine. Sour lime flavor. 
or just sour flavor in general. Just wouldn't that lemon wouldn't taste like lime? Oh, is this another one of these things? Would I get another heart container? Ah, cool. So that's something like consistently throughout the game that you can keep an eye out for to like get continuous benefits from. Strange but warm, and another max heart, which. I've, I've had to restart the demo to visit this part of town that I missed, so I'm only getting that now. I don't have like eight hearts or whatever. Wang! Huh. I don't remember there being a Jizo here. Is he? T he's talking about the thing in the back there, right? Where? Where? Where did that just point me to? I don't. I don't see anything like overly significant that the camera panned to. I don't know what you're referring to, guy. Lash. Lash is kind of a cool name. What I do for a dip in them hot springs. Too bad I ain't even got cash for the train ticket. Do you, do you, could I help you out with that? Cheap bento, not very tasty. Yeah, but maybe if I do that, then this guy can afford to go to the hot springs like he wants. Seems like that's something I could try and do for him. I'm gonna chuck some fish in there, some lemon and some carrot. I'm just slapping random things together because I just want to see uh, if it just like is like back close enough to a vegetable stir fry. It is. It does actually throw different things in there. So like some of that other stuff, like whatever it was throwing in the last recipe I did, like I don't know garlic and things. Those are like standard things. I don't know. You only need a couple of the actual ingredients, but the game adds more than that. A fish sandwich. The food which sandwiches fish between bread and it uh, adds some energy. I don't think energy is really a concern for John. It seemed like only something I need to worry about with Sam. I don't like this guy's floppy chin. It reminds me of like a Men in Black character. Big jaw. Yeah, you didn't hear this from me here. So shady. But I've heard tell there's something uh, unbelievably hidden. Unbelievable hidden deep in the dam. No, no, no. You can't go there. Not now. Is that, is that where I eventually ended up going? I don't know if I was at the, the dam. Hello again, my friends. You've come at just the right time. Come, 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 and take a look at what I found. Oh, man. Okay, another camera pan to here. This is a very rare and ancient totem. Is he looking at the dragon thing? I would hazard a guess that only those from my village would recognize this for what it truly is. What is going on? What are you drawing my attention to, dude? Oh, this thing? N no, not that either. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't exist properly in the demo or something, but I like do don't see anything to interact with. That's weird that two separate characters would pan my attention to what I think is this pillar. That seems to be like the center of the screen, but not actually anything there. Wow, this guy looks like a, a toad person. I don't know. I don't... There's no way to be friendly about it. Dis my fish place. It's here first. Eyes here first. No room for you. How's about you take this instead? A great bento found. Okay. I was about to rag on this guy for... I like... I'm. It's okay. I made fun of him because he was a jerk to me too. Kicking me out of his fishing spot. But then he gave me a gift. This be something eyes just fished up. Don't know what it is. Oh, uh, you found that in the river? I don't know if I really want it, man. Soggy. Anyway, fish is no bite in a day, only just doo-doo on the pole. Lots of secret places in the forest. Got to look real hard, then you find them. Doo-doo on the pole. Was this... Is this guy telling me right here, right now, that he gave me a box, a poop box? Because that's what I'm hearing. Well, I personally didn't find these secrets in the forest, and I kind of went looking. Maybe I did and didn't think they were that secret. I don't know. I didn't spend that long in the forest. I don't really feel like replaying the demo in search of something that might not actually be there. So I'm going to set it aside for now. That I think was a full look at the demo, barring any potential secrets or whatever that might be out there. There's a full look at the town and the, the full forest area right up to that cool skeleton boss. I liked him. I liked the skeleton boss. That was neat. I hope there are battles that incorporate both characters. That would be cool too, to be able to, something that's entirely requires Sam alone and things that need them together. I think that could be fun to play around with. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep an eye out for it, wishlist down below, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again soon.